What's up guys, War here, and today I'm gonna show you how to get a crap load of gems inside of Diablo 3. Let's do it. All right guys, it's season 26 and a lot has happened inside of Diablo, especially after the last couple seasons with the, sh the soul shards. And I know a lot of people keep asking like, well, what do we do about gems and how do we farm up our gems to be able to augment our gear? So today I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing first is in the past, the broken crown was hard to use because of soul shards right because you got to use soul shard in your helmet and then this doesn't emanate and benefit from you because you're not using a regular gem <clears throat> but soul shards are all over with now so we're on to echoing nightmares and just like in that season the echoing nightmares drop the whisper of atonement which can be used to augment our gear like we have here on my galvanized vest we augmented 625 dexterity into it so the question is how do i get all these gems to be able to augment right because it costs a lot to augment these gems from the jeweler and get you know flawless royal emeralds you know rubies topazes and all these things to augment your gear so a little trick this is what you guys can do so you want the broken crown on your follower okay you want the broken crown on your follower because whenever a gem drops the gem of the socketed type in your helmet also drops okay and it emanates from her so you're able to just put whatever gem you want inside of your helmet and then it, every time a gem drops there's additional gem now if you guys want you know you put in the corresponding gem to whatever your class is so you know dexterity so emeralds for demon hunters and monks you want rubies for your crusaders and barbarians you want topazes for your necromancers wizards and witch doctors and then you could use the amethyst just for whatever and then of course diamonds do not work Diamonds you cannot be augmented onto gear whatsoever. Now, before we get into how to really get a bunch of these, there is another trick. So let's say you keep the diamonds in there for cooldown or for whatever build that you're doing. You know, you can make as many of these as you want and then convert them over at the Kanias Cube. Because in the Kanias Cube, at recipe six, you can take nine of any gem with an essence and convert them over now i do recommend if you do have a bunch of diamonds let's say upgrade get nine of these and then do this okay don't do it at the lower levels you don't want to do it at these levels here like the imperials because you're going to have to upgrade them anyway now if you don't have a lot and you just want to convert them over that's fine now where you go to get the essence is act two in the hidden camp you're gonna go see Squirt. Squirt the Merchant down here at Miscellaneous has all your essences to convert them over. So if I wanted to convert diamonds into emeralds, we get the essence of emerald. Nine of these inside the Kanias Cube on recipe six. So I would put nine of these in here, this, and that's it. And then you would transmute and you'd have nine essence of emeralds at whatever grade that you, you know, convert them. So if I converted nine royal diamonds, they're gonna be nine royal emeralds. So that's one way to do it. So then the next thing is, is well, war, how do we how do we get a bunch of gems? How do we farm a bunch of gems? Okay, now I've racked up a bunch of gems this season. I've already augmented my gear a great deal. Um, at least for the items that are on here. But the way to do it is our puzzle rings. Puzzle rings are gonna be your best friend. Now, you might ask yourself, well, how do I get a bunch of puzzle rings? Because we do got some ancients. And I'm going to show you the difference between the two. Between an ancient puzzle ring and a regular puzzle ring. Just to kind of show you the difference of quality of items. But you're going to go, well, how do I get these? How do I maximize my chances? Because it's, it's just a legendary item. It just randomly drops. Well, I have a little trick. Okay. If you guys don't know, on Kadala's table... You can gamble at Kadala, and you can do this with multiple classes, but I'm just picking the um, Witch Doctor because it's just easiest. So you create a new character, put them to level 31. The reason you put them to 31 is because it's gonna maximize your chances to get a puzzle ring. As you can see on the table, guys, is that at level 30 and below, you can only get the Leoric Signet, and then as soon as you jump up to level 31, it unlocks all three. So you get Leoric's kit signet, you get the puzzle ring, and then you get a, a some other kind of signet. I don't even know what this is. Like that. 
So, but after you hit level 31, you want to leave the Witch Doctor there. And then once you go over to Kadala, we got 1480. All we're going to do is, you know, use all these and roll for puzzle rings. Hopefully we get a couple for the video. So we got puzzle rings, Leoric Signet, and we didn't get the third one. Oh, Broken Promises. So when you're rolling these, you have a one in three chance when a legendary is going to drop to get a puzzle ring. Okay, now that we have our puzzle rings rolling from our, our puzzle ring character, that's why we named the puzzle ring. We got our gem in there. Now we're going to go in and do these um, vaults with the puzzle rings. So I'm going to show you the first, the, the regular puzzle ring first. And you know what? Before we go in, let's go ahead and dump all of our gems. So that way we can kind of see how many we get. Let's dump all our gems. We just throw this in here. So let's dump our gems in. That way I can show you guys exactly how much we get. So regular puzzle ring. Right? Regular puzzle ring. Let's transmute and do this. All right, let's go. Hopefully we get a really good goblin here. If we can get the gem hoarder, that'd be great. But we got a blue one, even better, let's go. So that's gonna drop a bunch of dot. See this? Look at all these gems. See all these gems? So if we didn't get the gem hoarder, but we got the blue one, which is really great. So let's go ahead and snag all these. We'll just grab those. Make sure, we make sure you get everything, guys. I wanna make sure I didn't miss any. Make sure you get your gold. Make sure that you have your pet on because you don't want to be missing anything. Definitely don't want to miss anything. We Wow, two blue ones in one regular vault. This is crazy, okay? It's, it's got to be because I'm doing a video. Look at that. It's got to be because, we dude, we got, we got streamer luck right now. We got streamer luck. This is an anomaly right here, okay? This is an anomaly, all right? This is an anomaly. I mean, it's, it's kind of crazy that we got all these, but I'll take it. Okay, that's a gem hoarder. So that's huge. We got the gem hoarder in the video. That's great. Check that out. All right. Man, I got to start uh, doing videos or streaming this more often to get these kind of... This is just a regular puzzle ring, too. Let's go. All right, we get our gems. Now, if you guys want, you guys can do greed. I like killing greed. He good. He does get the EXP. A couple items is, is fine, but you don't have to do greed if you don't want to. All right, guys. Now that that one's done, now we're going to do our ancient puzzle ring so you can kind of see the differences in the vault. So when you do the ancient puzzle ring, it's all goblins, or it should be all goblins. Make sure you don't leave any goblin behind. No goblins survive. They all die. Don't let him get away. Yeah, you guys ain't going anywhere. Am I not hitting him? Oh, they're just running through. Okay. We're gonna come back for all the all the stuff, guys. We just don't want anybody to get away. Ooh, we got another blue goblin in here. This is a bunch. We're just going to kill them all and then come back. So many goblins, guys. Make sure you leave nobody behind. So many goblins. Make sure you get all the gold piles, too. All right. Let's slow it down. So as you guys can see, it's so many goblins. Just the difference from the regular puzzle ring to the ancient puzzle ring for the amount of items that you're gonna be able to get is just insane, okay? So let's just go ahead and grab a bunch and we're gonna see what we got, guys. Let's... All right, guys, so we just finished our ancient vault. Let's see what we have as far as gems. Look at all the gems that we got. Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna put up on the screen right now so you can kind of see the difference in how, mon how many gems that we got right now, guys. It's actually crazy how much the ancient puzzle ring vault got us over the regular puzzle ring vault. Now, keep in mind that we did get two blue um, gem goblins inside of the regular vault, but still look how many more gems you get from doing the puzzle rings. One additional thing to add, guys, when it comes to farming the puzzle rings in Diablo 3 is get a group. 
If you have a group, you're gonna maximize how many gems you're gonna be, be able to get per hour. So I'm mainly a solo player, so every time I wanna try to do these runs or go do some uh, Petrified Screams runs, I just get onto the Discord of Diablo, like Diablo's Discord, and I find a group of people to play with. So if, if you can get a group and go, hey, somebody you know hey guys doing puzzle ring runs or if you get a clan and you want to get into your clan and ask people to run puzzle rings or do um petrified screams it only costs one puzzle ring to open it up for everybody so if you can get a group and have everybody contribute you know five rings in a run and you guys do 20 puzzle rings that's a lot of gems you can get so i definitely recommend getting a group for these to maximize your gems when you're farming otherwise you can do them by yourself and it'll be just fine you just won't get as many all right guys and that's gonna do it those are my tips and tricks that I have for you to grind out these gems. Get these gems, grind your GRs to get the petrified screams, go beat those and then get your whisper of atonement so that way you can augment all your gear. And then that way you will have enough gems to augment them when you get these, okay? If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new here, subscribe. Please leave a comment down below that definitely helps. Let me know if this has helped you, okay? And as always, stay gaming and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.